Sure. So in the summer of last year, um, three guys took on the Snowden 24, which was a race at where it still is a race. There's another one coming up this year. Um, it's a 24 hour relay race at Mount Snowden in Wales. Um, and yeah, so they, they, I think they were aiming to do like two, it was under two and a half hour legs to the summit and, and down again. And they were aiming to do it 10 times. And essentially they basically got in contact with me and just said, you know, we're, we're doing this, this massive challenge. Do you want to film it? And at first I thought it was going to be maybe like a, a 20 minute YouTube video. I thought that sounds cool. I like these boys. Like, um, so it's Ted, Travis and Joe and Ted and Travis I went to school with. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't know them in school, but I'll prove a couple of other bits that I've, I've done with them over the last couple of years. Um, I got to know them and Joe I met through the production and um, I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> no, that's okay. No, so so they got in touch with you about trying to... Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it, yeah first I thought it was going to be just like a 20 minute video and it was through, I think it was through the, the charity and what the film was about, we realised that it had a lot more potential and to be something a bit longer. So I, I didn't know how long it was going to be until it was done, essentially. And um, it came out an hour in length. And I'm very much, I'm very cautious of retention. Like, I, I don't want to waste anyone's time with something that I make. I want to make something that's good and that keeps your interest throughout the whole thing. So I thought, I'll make something, I'll make it 20 minutes, nice and concise, loads of stuff, lots of, make it choppy. But when it came to editing the film, uh, there was a lot of scenes that actually felt like they worked and then moved into the next one. And it, it, felt, like, it felt like it was paced nicely enough to be a feature, which like, if I sat down to make my feature, I feel like I would sit down to make a feature. I feel like I'd overcomplicate it, but it's, it's nice like for a filmmaker to have a feature made, like that's, that's a big thing for, for me um, and for it to have come organically, like that's really cool as well. Mm. So yeah, it, it, it came from them basically just reaching out to me and saying, look, we're doing this challenge. And the first thing that you do when you're making a documentary is you sit down and you just film an interview and you just talk about the challenge you're doing and why you're doing it, a little bit about your background. And because the boys were doing it for Sport in Mind, we wanted to do a little bit of a, um, almost like a, a, a promo to say, you know, we're raising money for Sport in Mind, please donate. And it was through filming those sort of interviews that we started talking about the reasons why they're taking on the event. And they started looking back at their own mental health journeys and how sport has helped with that. And like those, those interviews that like, made it into the film, like we've, we filmed maybe, like four or five interviews per person with uh to make the film but a lot of what i actually used was from that initial interview just because like they were they were thinking for themselves about like why why do i want to do this challenge and it was it was quite um nice to see them thinking in the moment like what actually why do i want to do this i know i want to do it but but what's what is it that that makes me uh makes me feel like i want to take on this this big silly challenge Mm. Um, and so, yeah, that's when we started talking about um, sport and, and mental health. And I learned a little bit about each of the boys and that yeah, kind of just rolled and rolled and rolled from there.